Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in Audacity. So today, we're talking about the new Audacity 3.1. Had some really, really great upgrades. I'm going to show you what I perceive to be the most important and how it's going to benefit you. Before we get started, thank you all so much to the creative community. You guys have been amazing. And thank you so much for all the amazing feedback on the EQ course. Um, it's, it's, it's being called gold. <laughs> and it is good. You know, I definitely spent a lot of time putting and compiling together a ton of valuable information. So if you're interested in having the ability to create custom EQs for yourself, feel free to reach out. You can also check uh, the description. Maybe I'll have a button, you know, there for, you know, upon payment, you will be sent to a download page. Either way, if you're interested in that, feel free to reach out. But let's get this going. So first and foremost, I want you all to notice here that the time slider tool is gone. And I'm happy that it is. So I'll show you where it is now. So Audacity just made it much, much easier for us to move audio all around, all around. And I'm going to create another track to show you some of the capabilities of this thing. It's, uh, it's pretty solid. Okay, here's another random recording, just a track for us to have some waves to play with. Okay. So notice that we have this little ribbon up here, this light colored ribbon. And when we hover the mouse over that, this little hand pops up. So when I click down, it grabs it, and now I can move this anywhere I like. And not just side to side, ladies and gentlemen, but up and down as well. Pow. Just like that. Isn't that cool? So we don't have to sit here, break our arms going back and forth. Okay, let me click the time slider tool. I'm going to move it. Now I've got to click the selection tool. No more of that. So this is automatically going to make your editing more easy. Another thing to note Trimming is different as well. So notice what happens if I click right here. If I click on this track, click right around here. There we go. Get these double-sided arrows to show up. And I can trim like this. I can trim the other side if I like. Let me just move this over. There we go. We can trim it just like this. And let's say we copied it, right? So I'm going to do control C, copy, and then I'm going to paste it here. So it pasted the exact same track that was up here. But what is really cool about this is even when we trim it, it, sh it saves the prior information. Even when we copy and paste it, it still has the prior information. So let's say we wanted that stuff back. There we go. Look at this. Boom. It saved the entirety of the track. So that is a really, really cool trimming feature. Really, really cool feature. Here's another feature. We now have loop back. So check this out. I'm going to click loop on and we can set the parameters of where we want it. So if I just wanted to play whatever was from two seconds to three seconds, and I wanted that to loop back, then it would just play it over and over and over again. Let's see here. Just a track, just a track, just a track, just a track. And then you can expand the parameters. Boom. Back for the random recording, just a track for the random recording, just a track for the random. Oh my gosh. That could get annoying pretty quick. But you get the idea with the loop back. Now, these are the biggest features um, that, that are new in 3.1. And I'm telling you, man, the ability to go ahead and grab these tracks and move them around wherever we like is really cool. And also the ability to trim and then have the old information saved if we wanted to revert back. You know, this is, a, this is huge because prior... Let's say you wanted to get that whatever recording was back. You made a mistake. You did not mean to cut that off. And then you moved along with the project. Many, many steps. 
you would have to go edit, undo, edit, undo, undo a ton of stuff just to get back to where you had deleted that information. And now that is no longer the case. You can simply get it back at any point in time. So that is definitely, definitely cool. Those are some of the updates I have for you all. Um, the ability to be able to move this stuff around just so easily. It's awesome. It's really awesome. Up and down tracks. Doesn't even matter. Where, wherever you want it. Wherever you want it. Boom. Let's move this over. Maybe I want to move this up here. Pow. You guys get the point. So this one to me right here is, uh, you know, definitely huge solid upgrade to be able to get rid of the time slider tool and just move tracks at will. Whenever you're ready, up and down, side to side, doesn't matter, wherever you want to go. Um, another huge feature is the ability to you know, trim these tracks and then have the information saved. So if we move along with the project, we're not just undoing so many things, so many steps just to get that piece of recording back that we accidentally chopped off. So big thanks to the Audacity team for this. They're doing a really great job. Um, and I think that's it for this video. I've got plenty more coming out with new cool stuff. Definitely stay tuned, like, subscribe. And of course, if you're interested in the EQ course, feel free to reach out. You will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. Either way, until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I got your back.